Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My right honourable friend is amongst the most forthright defenders of the rights of this House and an eloquent supporter, perhaps the most eloquent supporter in this House, of the democratic principle. So when will he respond positively to the statement that Mr Speaker made from his chair at 3.30 on the 14th of June when he instructed the government to bring forward a vote on the breaking of our promise on the point seven? Uh, he knows uh, perfectly well that the estimates are not the right route for this. The estimates have never been voted down. And in that connection, may I refer him to a speech made from that dispatch box on the 24th of July 1905 by the late Prime Minister Arthur Balfour, which set out the position on estimates uh, very clearly. In his forthright defence of this House, will he ensure that before the summer there is a vote on this yeah, terrible yeah. decision yeah, that was yeah. made by the government? which has done such damage to our international reputation and which is leading to the avoidable death of more than 100,000 people. Yes.